This is my ZMR250 and I've been flying this FPV for a while. Now one thing, if you're going to fly FPV with your friends, one thing you really need to have are some LEDs on the back of your quadcopter. A lot of people will try to figure out ways to mount them onto the arms or have a 3D printed thing that grabs onto the spacers and holds onto there and they put it across it. Or they'll have a spacer kit where the two bottom plates are about, you know, half an inch apart and they'll have some kind of spacer to hold the LEDs there. Well. Today I have something that's much easier to hook up than those. This looks like a little camera mounting plate and this is from Banggood. And this thing is like, oh, four dollars or something three three between three and four dollars and what it does it has two little solder points here you can use you can use these or you can use these and then it has two switches uh, one over here and one on this side and essentially what they do one switch controls the three uh, LEDs on either side and the other switch controls the six LEDs in the middle that way you can have on you can have all of them on or just six or the other six it doesn't matter either way now this fits the ZMR uh, 250 frame perfectly. So here it is. I have it installed in, in the ZMR 250 and I'm gonna go ahead and switch on these switches so you can see how bright these LEDs are. Now these don't look like they're terribly bright on the video but right now they're blinding my eyes and it hurts. And these are the the six inner lights. You can see here the three over here are not lit up nor are the three over there. But I can turn off these lights or you can turn them all on at the same time. It doesn't matter any way you want to. Uh, there we go. Turn these on there. Now the three lights on that side are lit up and the three lights on that side are lit up. And let me go ahead and turn these on. There, all 12 of them are lit up now. And it is really bright. And if you were flying with your friends, now they have a real good chance of seeing you uh, because you're gonna be so much faster than they are. They will see your LEDs in their camera. To connect the LEDs, the only thing you need is some small wire. In, in this case, I have some uh, red and black wire that came from some kind of power servo. And this stuff is what I used in my uh, ZMR250. I took these and I soldered them onto these two lower pads here, like this. I soldered them this way, because you don't want to put them this way, because then they're going to be bent 90 degrees immediately when you put it into your frame. You want to solder them from the top up here. Well, like, like that, from the top up above. And I don't think it really matters if you use these two or these two. I didn't try these two, but from looking at the, the way it, it's laid out on the board, I think either one would is going to work. But uh, like I said, these two switches here are what control the um, six lights on the outside and the six lights on the inside. And once you have this, uh, once you have this wired up, you just need to run all your other wires that you previously had going out the back of your quadcopter through the hole in the middle. I have my antenna mounted back here to the rear plate. Uh, to the rear of the upper plate and I have my power wire going through and they fit they slip through the hole just fine so now I can have th this uh, board lit up with LEDs instead and like I said this fits perfectly onto the ZMR uh, 250 frame this one is actually a, the carbon fiber version from Banggood here's the scale we'll go ahead and weigh this this weighs in about 4.7 grams if you're running a quadcopter that's not a ZMR250, then you will probably be interested in what the sizes of these are. These little bumps that stick up are 9.23, and they uh, are about, let's see here, 28.33 across both of them, and the part in, in between them is, there we go, about 9.78, 9.23. Yeah, 9.78 between the two up. And just for grins, we'll just get the height of this. We'll measure the middle. It comes in at 34.85. This is the ZMR250 power distribution board. And this uh, camera mount with LEDs on it here fits into this perfectly. Now the only downside to this that I can come up with so far is that it, it doesn't support 4S batteries. It only supports 3S. So if you're going to run it off a power distribution board, you're going need, to need to run your wires from here over to a 12 volt output such as this one or, or maybe hook up directly to your 3S battery. But like I said, if you start running 4S through this, these LEDs are probably going to burn out. They're already burning my eyes when I <laughs> look at it with them on. Anyway, if you have any questions about this, leave them in the comments and uh, I'll try to help you out as best I can. The um, links to this will also be in the description. And as always, thanks for watching.